What is up, gang? PPS back. Um, today is Tuesday. It is the 8th of February. Um, ready to roll for our Tuesday slate. It is massive across the board. Um, I'm seeing it on NBA, looking like a 10 game slate. NCAA packed to the brim with plays for tonight. Um, yeah, I, I really have no words for this one. The one from yesterday, I'll recap it. Um, so I, I came to find out prior to the game, about an hour before the game, um, that I guess Simo had like five dudes get COVID or go on the COVID list, um, which was unfortunate. They only played with seven dudes yesterday. Um, that's that's the cost of doing business in this game um, in this time. Um, I really have no words for it. There's not much I can really do at that point. I unless you're on like one of the bigger books where you can cash out, that's an option, but I am not, or I wasn't yesterday at least. Um, and that was unfortunate because you could tell Southeast Missouri destroyed that first half with their, with their short roster. Um, in the second half, they just ran out of juice. They ended up beating them by like 30 in a pick em game. Um, terrible shooting on the SIUE side. Um, but I do think that the pace would have sped up a little bit more in the second half um, if we would have seen the rest of the players that they had. So unfortunate circumstance, do these videos very early in the morning. Um, and this is that's just an infor- unfortunate um, event that I, you can't really cap for. You can't really cap for seven guys or whatever it was, five guys being out. So unfortunate event mark down another game there so it's 165 117 um and, and we're back in another lower conference um a team that i haven't backed much this year but i do like them i've been watching them obviously i like the mac everybody likes the mac football mac basketball is pretty good as well um not a huge fan this year of Buffalo last year I was a big big fan um, right now they're five and four in conference I believe sitting like the sixth spot um, and they're playing Eastern Michigan who's second to last um, you guys know I always talk about fading the Michigan schools or the directional Michigan schools well Eastern M- Michigan is only one or only what is it three games three games better than Western Michigan who is 0 and 12 so very bad team but very bad teams mean very bad defense. And let's get into the numbers here. So Eastern Michigan, the game overs have gone over in seven of their last 10 games. All right. So seven and three to that number. Um, and we're going to have an absolute pace fest here. Okay. Um, Buffalo is 21st in the country. Eastern Michigan is 23rd in the country. So we're going to be averaging around 72.5 to 72.6 possessions in this one. So it's going to be very fast. Um, Buffalo is actually a top 60 offense ranking 57th in the country. Um, And we just saw Ohio get 81 on these guys and Kent state get 90 on these guys. Um, Kent state rents ranks 298 in pace. Ohio ranks 202. Um, And also Ohio ranks only 107 on offense and Kent state 223. Um, And that 223 just dropped 90 on these guys. Um, this defense is terrible. Um, we have Sagu, who is very, very good. And we also have Williams, who's very good. Sagu is a very good guard. About 15 and a half a game, five assists. Williams, 18 points a game. I think he's going to have a very nice day on the offensive glass. Um, Eastern ranks 328 in the country with 75.7 points per game allowed. Buffalo ranks 30th in the country, scoring 78.4 per game. Um, and then I'm just going to go into the last five games here um, for road matchups for Eastern Michigan and points allowed. Okay. Kent State, 90. Ohio, 81. Bowling Green, 85. NIU, 77. Western Michigan, 85. All right. So very, very bad. This is the best offense they've faced uh, in that group. And you're heading to their home place here in Buffalo. I, I I don't, I like the spread here as well. I think Buffalo runs through these guys. Um, 
Buffalo also does play pretty good defense. They're like 110 in defense, which is why I didn't go with just the game over. I trust this Buffalo side. I trust them um, to shoot well um, and, and just be able to run on these guys. Um, we saw yesterday with the pace, obviously get smashed because you only have seven dudes in that game. But, I mean, you're, we're looking at um, Jonathan Williams, that's his name, 43% from deep. Sagu is 38%. Um, their other guard is shooting – oh, no, their center is shooting 38%. Um, Imbala has been playing fantastic on the inside, 12-8 um, and eight on the season. Um, and also, when we look at their starting five here, um, three of them – or no, two of them are 80% free throw shooters, um, two of them are 78-plus, um, and then one 60%. So four of their guys are going to be shooting high 70s or higher. Um, from the line, obviously, love to see that. One of the reasons I really like VMI there as well. Um, their, their top guys are all over 45% shooting. Um, obviously, their center shooting about 58%. So I just really think that this game is not a great matchup um, for Eastern Michigan. They, they've they really struggled overall on the defensive side. Um, and the numbers are obviously going to be skewed as well um, when your pace is that fast. Um, Eastern Michigan in conference, the overs are eight and three. Um, and the over unders in um, Buffalo games in conference um, at home are five or three and two. So I think we're definitely on the right side of this one. I think the Buffalo side is leaps and bound bounds. Well, I can't even talk today um, above this other Eastern Michigan side. Um, Eastern Michigan, 231 in defense. 281 in offense, a lot of turnovers, um, and that defense ranks 231 playing against teams ranked 284 in adjusted offense. So now you're going to get a top 60 offense in a fast environment at home. I'm going to be ro rolling with the Buffalo Bulls today. Team total over 82, two units. Very much one of my favorite plays that stuck out to me on this card. Um, again, I will have my Twitter um, link in the description. Follow me over there if you do want a few extra free plays. Um, really, really excited for this one. I think the Mac, the Mac is going to get us back on track. Um, hopefully not half their team goes out with COVID prior, like an hour prior to game. So thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. Um, I will be back tomorrow. We will have passed the prop. I'll have another play out as well before that. Um, yeah, um, I, I really appreciate all you guys for tuning in. And uh, we will talk tomorrow. Um, and yeah, let's do it. Peace.